you can never be too prepared. Uh, you know what I mean? Hi, I'm Paige Gillian, and I'm passionate about helping busy moms of littles get organized in three simple steps. So here's today's organization motivation. Thanks for joining me. We're in my kitchen today, and this idea popped into my head because I am going to a Bible study tonight. I absolutely love these women who I have been friends with, with my church and our school for years, and I cannot wait to get in and see them again tonight. And I am in charge of doing all of the food prep, the snacks for that. So the way that we've done it is we pick a book, maybe we pick like something that has a workbook that goes along with it. Sometimes we pick a book that's a little more like book club style. That's what we're doing right now. Um, and then sometimes it's a Bible study that's really a little bit more in depth and we're doing lots of homework and stuff each week. And so I feel like, a very successful book club or Bible study is going to have some great yummy food to snack on, maybe some wine or some drinks while you're enjoying each other's company. So just want to pop in really fast and show you what I've got going on. I feel a little bit like Rachel Ray on the Food Network at the moment because I have got all kinds of stuff set up in front of me and I want to show you how I'm actually going to be doing this food prep for my Bible study in three simple steps. Now, some of you may opt out of this because you think I don't have time for that or I don't wanna sign up to do these things because there's just like too much involved or maybe you don't feel like you're much of a party planner and you don't wanna have to deal with this. So let's just break it down to the super, super basics. And I'm gonna tell you that the way I have gotten this particular food prep organized is in these three steps. Number one, use what you already have hanging around at your house. Check out, before you go shopping, check out in your pantry, check out in your refrigerator, in your freezer. What do you have? So I already had gone to the grocery store and gotten some beautiful fruit, but we all know moms, sometimes we get a little overly zealous and we buy too much. That's exactly what I did. And so I was afraid it was gonna go bad. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use this amount for my Bible study girls. And then I'm gonna use the other fruit that I got that's sitting over here in my kitchen, little fruit and veggie basket over there. And that's what the kids are gonna have. So I already had this fruit hanging out. I was like, perfect, boom. I am not cutting up a million different things. I'm keeping it super simple, which I love to do. So I've got mangoes, blueberries, and strawberries. They've already been cut up. They've already been uh, cleaned up and they are beautifully packaged. So I'm gonna actually take those and put them in a container. Next up, what else did I have? I had some yummy, delicious pistachios and I thought, oh, I'm gonna take those. So I actually opened up the container and I put it in one of my little OXO, O-X-O, how do you say that? I think it's OXO, but from the container store, one of these, did you guys hear that if you're listening on the, on the podcast, hear that sound? Oh, it's a little click fresh seal so that way you just pop the top and then whenever I get there I'm just gonna pop the top off I'll set it out we're gonna do like around a fire pit and put our feet up and have some cozy blankets and be talking about what we read and we're just gonna be snacking on some of these things so I had that already I opened it up I put it in that that way whenever it's time for us to do some cleanup if there's some leftover I just pop the top on it goes back in my pantry okay next up how many of you moms have some leftover uh, candy from a holiday or something well I had some Tootsie Rolls. I'm a sucker for a Tootsie Roll. I had some individually wrapped, obviously, Tootsie Rolls that I had left over from Easter egg hunting. And so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna take this cute little glass mini vase that I have, drop in some Tootsie Rolls. We're gonna have about nine or 10 ladies there tonight. And so sometimes you just wanna like grab a piece of candy or a couple. And I thought this is gonna be an easy thing. We're just gonna set it right down there in front of the fire. You can just grab a little piece of candy and you know, gobble it up and you don't have to worry about one of your children trying to steal it, okay? Yay, mom's night, woohoo! All right, next, what else did I have? The other thing I had is some of these almond thin crackers that I was like, oh, I'll have like a little cheese and meat and cracker moment. And so I already had some of these in the box, so I put them in a Ziploc just to make sure that they stayed fresh. And then I also had some 
plate, paper plates and little, I'm going to show you if you're watching on the video, you'll see. My daughter was super into pink back in the day. And we have had these for so long because we had a little birthday party and we had these little bowls, mini bowls that we could put some ice cream in. And so we have had these forever. And I thought, you know what, this is perfect for the ladies that just want to snack. Like if they just want little things, they can just pop it in here. They can hold their little mini cup bowl thing and they can just be eating their snacks while we're chatting. So I thought I'm going to grab these. We also had the little pink plates that we had left over small version of plates, like just a little, you know, kind of appetizer plate. And then I went ahead and grabbed some other clear, larger disposable plates that we could toss after we use. If people are like, I haven't had dinner, I'm hungry. I want all the things. So I already had those. So you guys, this is so many things that I already had that I didn't even have to purchase. So think about what you already have. Honestly, if I showed up with all of those things, that would still be some little easy snacks. We'd be there for an hour and a half, two hours or whatever, no big deal. But because I wanted to make sure that I got enough in case we did have some extra hungry mamas, I went to the grocery store and this leads me to step number two. I want you to thoughtfully choose the food and drinks that you are going to be serving people. Now, when I say thoughtfully, the reason I say that is because you need to be thinking about the environment. Like I said, we're gonna be doing it around a fire pit, okay? So, but the fire pit means we don't actually have like tables that we can sit at. So these need to be super easy to eat, little bites, that really influenced what I was gonna get. Also, I wanna always make sure that just in case, because I don't know all of the women personally, I would always offer a gluten-free option. I like to have that along with um, like a treat. So it could be like a healthy something. So I got some, I had the fruit that I showed you. Uh, I have some vegetables. I went ahead and grabbed a veggie tray. And instead of using and serving here, I'll show you for those of you who are watching on video, I went ahead and grabbed this great veggie tray. Again, I just, you know, listen, I just had the book launch and I had COVID after that. Hello, by the way, I will tell you, I totally washed my hands before I touched all these things. Just saying that, saying that in case the ladies who are going to be eating this tonight are watching the video now, I wash my hands. So I did not feel like I really had the energy and wanted to put in the effort to getting all this stuff and cutting it up and chopping it up and rinsing it. So I just decided to let my local grocery store do the work for me. Now, what I want you to remember, especially if you're a busy mom of littles and you're going out for a book club or a Bible study and you are bringing some of these snacks and treats, make sure that something that you're getting is stuff that if you have leftovers, the kiddos will love it. I'll tell you, I started prepping this yesterday. My kids are already eyeballing these Tootsie Rolls and I'm like, no, nope, these are for the moms. You had some in your Easter basket. You know what I'm saying? So vegetables. I thought, I'm gonna get this great big tray. I'm gonna take some of them out, put them in an awesome travel container, and then I'm going to leave some of them at home so that when my husband is here with the kids, they'll have already their veggies, they'll have some of the leftover fruit, some of these little snacky things, and I can put that together on a tray for them. So if you have a sitter who's hanging out with your kids, if your husband's there, or somebody's watching your kiddos, they're gonna have some yummy, nice stuff too. Uh, and, and then you get cool mom points for that, right? All right, I also grabbed, like I said, I had those almond thins, the, I think they're called nut thins, the little almond crackers. And so I wanted to make sure that when I went to the grocery store, I grabbed some, check it out on the video here, prosciutto and provolone cheese. And I also grabbed a little container of salami, now, the reason I grabbed those is because they are going to be so super simple to pop on a tray and go. And that is the name of the game. Simplify as much as you possibly can. Because if you kind of make these things out to be such a big deal, then you may not do them as often. And when you keep it really simple, you're like, Psh, easy peasy. I got this. No big deal. Sign up for snacks and you're going to bring great stuff and, and everybody's going to think you're awesome. You're going to get all the fun, cool points. That brings me to my final step, my third step, which is consider transporting and how you're going to be serving these things when you arrive. So we're not talking about having people over at my house and putting all of that stuff out. If we were gonna do that, I'd probably be thinking about like a good old Trader Joe's 
grocery store run because they have lots of yummy things that are um, frozen finger foods that I can pop in my oven and they'll be fresh. Or maybe I would make fresh chocolate chip cookies. And so that way when people get here, they'd be like, oh, that delicious smell. You know, you're always supposed to do chocolate chip cookies if you're trying to sell a house because it just puts people in a good mood. So that's something I might do if we were having it here on the home front at my house. But because I'm not hosting and I'm taking it, I wanted to make sure that I put it in containers that made a lot of sense. So I have, this was one of the greatest purchases that I made on a whim not that long ago because I saw it in a store and I thought, oh my gosh, genius. It is just a plastic Rubbermaid white. I wanted to do white so that way you don't ever have to worry about what the theme is. You can just set it right out, but a divided container with a top and the top is sort of a dome shape. So it's higher. So you can definitely have things piled to the sky. You know what I mean? So what I did is I grabbed this and I thought it's got four different large dividers on the side and then it has kind of like a dip, like you might put a hummus or some kind of a dip on the inside to dip your veggies in. That's what it has here. So what I decided to do is when I got that awesome pre-made veggie plate, they put in a little ranch dressing moment dip. Very great. I'm going to leave that here with the kids. I decided to step it up and I got some spinach artichoke dip. Again, didn't make it. Let the great people at the grocery store serve that up for us. And I am going to take that actually with the top on it inside of my container. So it sits right down inside. I already tested it. The top closes. You know, if you guys don't have this, you could always just put it on a tray and then, you know, put a little covering over the top, like some foil or some saran wrap. You know what I mean? So I feel like I've said, you know what I mean, a whole bunch of times, <laughs> but you know what I mean? <laughs> so tonight I'm going to do, because I have the four different dividers, I'm going to do a couple of types of veggies on one side. Diagonally, I'll do a couple of the other ones. So we've got broccoli, cauliflower, cucumbers, little cherry tomatoes, carrots, celery, snap peas. I think I said everything. So we're going to do a couple of those. I'm definitely going to pick some of the more colorful ones because, you know, we eat with our eyes first. I'll pop some in one diagonally in the other. In the other container, I'm going to put in some of that beautifully colored fruit. And on the other side, I'm going to have these awesome, you guys don't know, i got to show you, the GFB gluten-free bites. They say ridiculously tasty and protein pack. I have gotten these many times. I've gotten lots of different flavors. The kind I got tonight are dark chocolate and coconut. So this is a nice little sweet treat. And again, like I said in my step two, when you're thoughtfully choosing stuff, you wanna make sure you have a gluten-free option. Um, these are actually vegan as well, and they're soy free. So I thought this is a great little snack for any women who might have any of those things that are really important in their diet, I wanna be able to be the person who shows up for that. So I've already peeled the top off. I'm gonna take these, I have two containers. I'll leave a couple behind for my kids. That can be some of their dessert tonight. And then I'm just gonna drop that right into that other container. So that way, when I show up, it's gonna be contained. I pop the top off. There's gonna be fruit, there's gonna be veggies. There's gonna be a nice, thoughtful little treat. And then inside, I'm gonna have that spinach artichoke dip. So I have another container that I'm just going to have that has a nice little uh, container that has a top on it where I'm gonna put, I'm gonna line the meats, the cheeses and the crackers in that. So that will be a separate container. And the great thing is for serving after it's, you know, easy finger foods, I also made sure I brought these cute, fun little tongs. I love these. I have to totally plug. I got these from Crate and Barrel years ago, and they're so cute. It came in a little three pack. You know how much I love the threes. And they have all different little grippers. This one has a little circle, and this one has some spiky ones to pick up things that might be a little harder to grab. So you can almost like stab it and pick it up. And then I have another one that I think it would be overkill to take three of them. But I've got these. I also mentioned I want to have some good drinks and because we're going to be going tonight and there are going to be several ladies, a couple of the other moms are going to be bringing some drinks and some waters and I just picked up a very simple Pinot Grigio in a very large bottle so we don't have several different kinds, that very large bottle and don't forget if you are taking one that is not a screw off top that you take your corkscrew. So always make sure you have that. Now, if you're going to somebody's house, most likely they'll probably have one, but 
you can never be too prepared. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I heard it coming out of my mouth before I even said it. One last thing I wanted to just show you. It's always a great idea to bring more than you think you need. So if we were to have a few extra people on reserve, I have this great white bowl again. I just get white serving platters. This is a wooden bowl. It's white on the outside. And I popped in a little paper towel on the bottom and I'm taking a bag of Skinny Pop popcorn because that is a super easy extra treat. If we decide to hang around, we have an extra glass of wine, we've enjoyed our book talk, and now it's time for us to have this, I grabbed an extra bag. If we don't need it, I won't open it, but I'll have it on reserve. Again, a stylish mom is always prepared, so I figured that would be a good easy bonus extra to have a little thing of popcorn if we need it. And then finally, this is a tray with handles. It's a big, large tray with handles that I got from Pottery Barn years ago whenever I registered for a wedding present. Oh gosh, that was way too long to even think about. Don't ask, it's a lot. I got this so that I could use it as a coffee table tray, but this has turned into being super helpful if I'm doing things on the go like this, because then I can put these things out so it looks pretty, it looks like I made a little effort, but it's got these awesome handles and I can carry a lot for one trip from the car to the location. Boom, pop the bottle open, have a glass of wine, have some delightfully yummy and healthy and some little sweet treats too, snacks while we are reading Jenny Allen's Find Your People. I love this book, it is fantastic. Like I said, I love my mom friends from this Bible study so much. I have absolutely found my people. There are some really, really great chapters in this book that we have gotten to dive into deeper. So if you are looking for an awesome Bible study book or a book club book, check out Find Your People by Jenny Allen. Highly recommend. And I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I've got another book to recommend. This is my book that you all have so kindly helped get to bestseller in multiple categories on Amazon. I love you so much. Thank you for that. And it also just happened to reach number one in new releases in the Christian families category. So thank you so much for that. The name of the book is I've Got You Girlfriend. The subtitle is Why Getting Organized and Living This Mom Life is Not a Solo Mission. So check that out on Amazon. If you are interested, it's got some, if you haven't looked through it yet, you got to check it out. It's got some before and after photos in it. It's also got my three E's and how we get organized in those three simple steps. And it's got some great little workbook moments in there as well. So you can be jotting some things down. So it's super interactive. So it is great for a book club as well. I hope you guys are having such a great day. And if you have not ever started a Bible study or a book club, definitely check out some of these great books, look up some other awesome bestsellers that you might be interested in and just start talking to your girlfriends about, hey, I'll host this week, you host next week, let's get together, let's read a few chapters, let's talk about it with some yummy snacks and maybe a glass of wine or two, maybe some backup popcorn and let's create a very sweet memory and community and be there to, you know, help each other out. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, I feel like I need to just make this called, you know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you for listening. I'm on the go, getting ready to go to watch a very fun soccer game and pick up a cute kid from carpool and head off to see all my mom friends. I hope you're doing some fun things like that as well. And don't forget, if you are in charge of food prep, snack prep, any of that stuff, don't let it be overcomplicated or turn you away. Just find a way to do it in three simple steps. I'll talk to you next week. Have a great one. Hey, thanks for watching this video. For more resources to organize and style your busy life in three simple steps, head over to everythingwithstyle.com and connect with me on Instagram at everythingwithstylemom. Don't forget to check out the Mom's Organization Motivation Podcast over on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, any of your favorite platforms. And if you loved this video, it would make me so happy if you would subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks so much for watching and 